Welcome, I'm Rob Froney and I'm about to show you how to make a part using FreeCAD for KiCAD. A 3D model is what I'm going to show you how to make. So I'm starting here from EE Schema where I have a part uh, already made into a little uh, circuit with power flags and 5 volts on ground. I haven't yet put a uh, footprint in for this, so let's look at that. Type E here, and you will see there's no footprint, so let's browse footprints. This is a resistor, so I want an 0805 from the resistor's SMD uh, parts, so I'm going to double click that. Looks good. Now, you could check the thing and uh, make sure that everything is good. It's, it's all good because it's got the power flags and so on. Uh, we're going to make a net list here. Let's generate the net list save that puppy now after that we're about ready to go to PCB new so let's start PCB new let's say yes We'd like to make a new project let's import our net list and we'll find out if we have any problems when we do this notice that there are all green marks down here so that's good let's close out the net list importer and if you notice um, uh, this is the uh, the resistor package it's so small on this screen uh, I want to put in uh, some edge cuts here so I'm clicking on the edge cuts I'm going to uh, grab this tool right here to make a board outline so here we are I'm just gonna make a board outline that just has that resistor on it and there we go and now I'm going to show you that this, uh, this package doesn't have a 3D part associated with it. So I'm going to go control E while hovering over that and that opens the uh, footprint library editor. And then I'm going to go to the uh, footprint properties here and we're going to look at the 3D settings. And if you look at here in the 3D settings right here Normally it comes up in that usually, but uh, we're looking at the 3D settings. You'll see there's no no uh, part on here. So we would need to add a 3D shape, but I haven't got one yet. So um, there actually is one, I think, in the KiCAD library, but we're going to make our own. That's the purpose of this video, show you how to make your own. Let's start KiCAD, I mean FreeCAD, the, uh, the daily version. Let's start a new project. And uh, let's go to the parts work, part workbench because that's uh, the one that seems most appropriate to me. Of this you can use whatever workbench you like, though it doesn't matter to creating the part. So I'm going to make a little resistor part for this thing out of uh, three cubes. So here's the first cube, and uh, the first cube I uh, want to make uh, some certain dimensions. This is going to be. Um, this is going to be the uh, the inside part of the 0805 resistor, which, by the way, I've looked up uh, on DigiKey, found a data sheet, and this is the data sheet with the dimensions here. So I, I have the dimensions. And so the inside part of this resistor, um, I need a 1 millimeter here, 1.15, whoops, 1.5 millimeters here and I need 0.9 millimeters right there and then I also need to change the placement of this uh, guy because this is in the center here and so the placement, the position I need um, 0.5 I need uh, 0 0.05 and 0.05 and uh, that's good. So now I'm going to make a new cube. These are going to be the ends. So let's do the ends. So this is cube 1 here. And the size of cube 1 needs to be 0 0.5, 1.25, 1. And now you're beginning to see uh, how this is going to look. Let me take and copy this cube and paste it. Paste. And now I'm going to move the position of this guy right here, this cube. So I'm going to go up to the placement. And I'm going to change the position here. And I want to change the uh, the 
exposition by 1.5 millimeters. Now it's looking like a, uh, a real part here. We could look at it kind of in a, <coughs> an easier to understand view. So first of all, I'm going to set the appearance. Oops, I'm going to set the appearance by selecting the center one right here. Well, before that, I probably yeah. Let's just uh, set the appearance, then we'll we'll fuse these. So so the appearance of this guy, I would like to have him be kind of. Well, let's see what color would be good. This is a resistor. I'm just going to make it kind of um, kind of reddish brown here. Okay, and I'm going to say close. Now I'm going to grab the end, and I'm also going to grab a, a shift click to get both ends uh, um, selected. And I'm going to select appearance for those, and I'm going to set the color here for this one to be kind of silver because those are supposed to be, um, you know, tinned. And then I'm going to close this guy. Now. What I would like to do now is I would like to take this cube and I would like to fuse it to that part and I would also like to fuse it to that part so I control click those two guys and now I'm going to press this and it says um, I want to the second the solids I want to select whoops um, not letting me fuse two things together here. Uh, this worked very nicely in the uh, part workbench, but it doesn't seem to want to let me select um, things. So let's uh, let's just. I guess we'll have to make two fusions. We're gonna make that this one, and now I'm gonna make this one. And now, hopefully, I've got uh, this all, it's all, well, yeah, the second fusion. I hope. Let's control click and fuse it onto that one. I'm gonna, just going to make sure I've really fused everything. Fusion one and fusion two, yeah, okay, apply. So now I'm making sure I'm just really certain that I've fused those parts. So let's close this. Okay, so now I have the fusion of all those parts. It's fusion two. So what I want to do now is I want to, uh, well, let me show you what you need to do that I've already done here. You need to go over here to Tools and Add-on Manager and you need to look for the KI CAD step up tool which is somewhere in here there it is KI CAD step up tool notice I've already installed it you need to install it if you haven't once you installed it then you can go over here and you can find it down here at the bottom KI CAD step up tool workbench and what we want to do is we want to add these uh, this toolbar on here these are all the icons for it so if I click on this guy I get all these icons. The next thing I'd like to do is import the footprint because I don't know whether the footprint and this part are nicely lined up. So I'm going to click on this guy to import the footprint. Oh, I've got to select the part. I forgot to do that. So let's select Fusion 2 and then let's say, oh, did I uh, mesh deviation? Or I know I must be exporting it. Let me cancel. I didn't want to do this. I just did the wrong thing. Okay, so I want to read in the footprint. I want to do this, and so I want the I'm 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 here in User Share KiCad Modules uh, Resistor SMD Pretty. That's where I got the footprint, and I'm looking for the 0805 right here. That's what I want, and I want to import that. There we go. Now, if you look at this thing, you can see it's not quite lined up very well. You can look and see there. And if we look at it here, you can see it's not good. It's good this way, but it's not good this way. So we need to select this fusion here 
and we need to move it over in the x direction and the y direction both negative I'm going to put negatives in front of those and now I'm going to start moving this fusion over until it looks good to me maybe a little whoops uh, maybe that's too much let's move it down and see what it looks like here okay so I'm gonna make this instead of a point one I'm gonna make it a point oh one and I'm gonna start uh, I'm gonna make it go back the other way just gonna whoa I went too far I think I'll go back Uh, that's pretty good. So I'm going to say that's pretty good. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to export this to uh, to a KiCAD uh, file that will be the footprint file, and I want to make the uh, I'll overwrite this this one that I did before, and uh, I accept the default uh, grid size and that, that's okay for the color or this is okay for the color and I want to overwrite it and uh, they're both in my home directory so now I'm going to go back to KiCAD and I'm going to add a 3D shape so um, I want to select 3D model and so um, we called it fusion fusion dot uh, fusion 2 uh, and I went the WRL file oh yes there it is that's what I want and there it is and it looks like it's uh, centered nicely if we didn't do the centering in uh, FreeCAD we could have done it right here but I kind of like FreeCAD uh, for doing that so now we can say okay now we can view it in the uh, 3d viewer all three will show us what the 3d viewer looks like and oh yeah that does look pretty nice um, you know you can see a little bit of air through there but that probably makes up for the solder that's uh, it's gonna take uh, you know to hold this thing down so there you have it you made a 3d part for KiCAD and you can actually view it I hope this video was helpful.